Printing project information. You can print any information that you have in your project. You do not have to print all the information from the project. This means you can just print your task list or resource sheet, or any of the views that you want. In this lesson, we're going to teach you how to print in project. You'll find some of it is very similar to the last lesson, but that's okay. It is important that you aren't left with any questions. Before you print, choose exactly what you want to print. The best way to do this is to go to the View menu and select what you want. We are going to select the Gantt chart view. Once you have the view that you want on the screen, click on the File tab to go to the Backstage view. Click Print from the column on the left. Here is what you will see. First, select how many copies that you want to print. Then choose the printer that you want to print to. Next, choose your settings. Specify if you want to print the entire project, or specific dates or pages. You've already chosen the view that you want to print, so now what you're selecting is the parts of that view that you want to print. You can also select custom dates and pages. Decide on the orientation, either portrait or landscape. Then decide on the paper size you will use to print the project. Click on the Page Setup link. We worked with Page Setup in the last lesson, but now we're going to talk about it more in depth. The Page Setup dialog box looks like this. By default, the Page Setup dialog box opens in the Page tab. In the first section of the Page tab is Orientation. Portrait means the short edge of the paper is at the top, and Landscape means the long edge of the paper is at the top. Next is Scaling. Select either the Adjust To or Fit To settings. Adjust to is based on a percentage of the actual size, and the fit to allows you to control the scaling. In the other section, you get to select the paper size and the first page number. Now let's click on the margins tab. Here is where you can adjust your margins. The preview in the centre shows you how your margins will appear on the page. Use the arrows to set the top, bottom, right and left margins. In the borders around section, you can select if you want the margins to appear as borders around your page. Now let's click on the header tab. The preview section shows you a preview of your headers as they appear now. The alignment section here allows you to align your headers. As you can see, there are tabs for left, centre and right. You can use the buttons below the alignment section to further format your text. Now let's click on the footer tab. The footer tab offers you the same options, except they are for your footers. The legend tab allows you to add a legend to whatever you're printing. The legend tab allows you to add a legend to whatever you're printing. The options for the legend are pretty self-explanatory. However, it is important to note that Project creates a legend for you. All you have to do is add text. The view tab is shown here. This area allows you to select if you want to print all columns, how many columns per page, print notes, and print blank pages. You can also choose to print column totals. This pertains to the usage views. When you have your page set up, click OK to save your options. Once you close the Page Setup dialog box, you are taken back to the print screen in the Backstage view. On the right side of the screen, you will see the print preview, or what your project will look like as a printed document. Use the arrows to move around your project, at the bottom right here, and even to different pages that can be printed. When you mouse over the preview of your project, you will see your mouse cursor turn into a magnifying glass with a plus sign in it. If you click it, it will zoom in on the preview. You can also use the buttons in the bottom right hand corner of the window to view the actual page size, view one page, or view multiple pages. When you've adjusted all your print settings and are ready to print, set the number of copies you want to print if you haven't already, and then click on the print button.